Hi everybody. Father Ted Hughes and I are on our way to the annual Chrism Mass for the Hamilton Diocese. It's a very special evening where all the priests gather along with lay people uh, to celebrate the consecration of the sacred chrism and the blessing of the other oils that we use um, at the parishes. And so uh, Father Ted has generously offered some time to talk about his vocation and I'd like to start with the first question if you don't mind Father Ted, which is uh, what first drew you to living out diocesan priesthood? Well I think it was the example of the parish priest that uh in the parish I grew up in, St. John the Baptist in Hamilton. They were always wonderful examples of Christian living, of, of preaching, of connecting with the people, um, just very human people, uh, very holy people. And I think that that's what uh, inspired me truly, uh, you know, particularly a couple of uh, priests uh, who were wonderful in, uh, in their ability, as I said, to, to preach and to live out the, the, the gospel message. Now I understand you get to live out the gospel message in a little bit different ministry than most priests. Uh, can you talk a little bit more about that? Yeah, so right now I'm in full-time uh, prison ministry. I oversee the prison ministry in uh, all of the federal prisons in the, the province of Ontario. And that means not only over the Catholic chaplains, but also all the Protestant chaplains, uh, our minority faith traditions. And so it's a, it's a wonderful uh, experience to see how all of these faith traditions work together to uh, bring about a change in, in the individuals who are on the inside. And most particularly for the individuals on the inside to bring the presence of God to those who minister to them. Because I find that that is uh, such a tremendous resource these days for my own prayer life and spiritual life. Father Ted, can you think of a specific moment uh, where you look back on it and you say, just, wow, that was really inspiring or just brought a lot of joy to my life or to the life of someone else? It's funny you ask that because um, it was last Christmas and I was visiting um, Millhaven Penitentiary and it was during their Christmas celebration they had a, uh, an ecumenical celebration there and the guys when they come into the chapel they're kind of shuffling in and they have their eyes down and and they're not really uh, you know exuberant about it they you know they get out of their cells and, and they're there and one of the guys looks up at me and, and he opens his, his eyes wide and, and then says, you know, Father Ted, like, what are you doing here? You were my priest in, in Hamilton. You know, what are you doing here? Yeah, and, and said, like, you know, I miss you from, from the parish. You know, you were there for my first communion and, and confirmation. And then the conversation that we had afterwards as well, you know, he ran into some tough times. Uh, but the fact that he recognized that, that the church was present in, the, in that situation too was, uh, was, a, was such a joy for him and for me. Yeah. You know, uh, there's, there's a lot of young people who don't realize, I think, sometimes uh, the transformation they can bring to the lives of others, especially through this vocation. Is there any advice you would give to young people, perhaps some who are considering diocesan priesthood? Well, I think the thing is just go for it. <laughs> you know, like just, you know, give it, uh, give it a try, you know. Um, keep your heart open. Um, keep your options open. Really, uh, just minister minister in in however you find yourself uh, you know in your life right now I think of the young people that, that volunteer in our prisons because the average age of, of people in prison is about 23 24 years old and so a lot of younger people can relate to to the guys that, that are on the inside um, and so I, I really believe that in the presence of uh, of God in your own life you can minister to others and that'll draw your own particular vocation forth